All right, let's talk about hair. If we look here, I can see that this is a very kind of sculpturally hair, and uh, meaning that it's geometry, right? It's It feels like it's sculpted kind of with clay in a very ZBrush-esque way. And uh, this is one way to do hair. And I'm gonna show how to do this. This would be good for something like, let's say 3D printing. However, this would be kind of too dense for video games and not realistic enough for feature film. So we're, there's other solutions for those and we'd use Maya for that. Well, actually we would even start it in ZBrush, maybe even the exact same way, and then we would transfer it to Maya and then let XGen do the trick. So I'm gonna kind of show that. So this character here, um, the hair was actually started in ZBrush and then uh, brought in here as curves and then those curves were then uh, transformed to XGen and I can see on the render you can see it, it looks like pretty realistic hair and I could even have like a little flyaway hairs, I could have frizzy hair, I could have combed hair, I, um, I could even have braided hair. Even the idea of having eyelashes and uh, eyebrows, even down to the things like the peach fuzz. Okay, so we'll talk about all of that kind of stuff um, in XGen. And you can see even on the back of the hair, I can see that I have kind of these elaborate braids as well. So I'll kind of talk about that. Um, but that is going to be too expensive and too complex for video games. So for video games, there's even a, a different solution. And that would be what I call poly hair cards. Okay, and if we look at this, you can see that each one of these is created of essentially a card that is strategically placed and each card has a texture on of hair. So if I isolate one card, for example, I can see that there's maybe only about 20 or maybe 40 polygons on this because each one of these squares is a polygon. But if I look really close, it looks like there's so many individual strands of hair and that's really just kind of a, a strategic texture map with a transparency behind it, okay? And then each one of these cards is assigned a different strand of hair, or um, you can see that this one is a single strand of hair. And if I look at my choices here, I have something from really dense hair, literally to a single strand of hair. and I'm going to have single strands strategically placed maybe in the front, and then I'm going to have denser hair at kind of the denser areas. Um, so this is going to be a good approach for something like a video game, okay, to make it a lot easier for uh, the system to handle it. And I feel like if it's done right, it's going to look very natural, and you can see kind of like these even these whiffs of hair. Um, but it's not very expensive on the system. So we're gonna talk about all three methods, sculpting it for printing, making it for feature film, and then also this method for games.